All right, welcome to the uh, engineering uh, coffee break. Uh, today, uh, during our break, I want to talk a little bit about uh, breaking down uh, silos. Now, this is not so much about uh, integration uh, across disciplines as we've been talking for years and years. I want to narrow it down a little bit to a smaller scope, actually. From my experience, also in engineering, you know, you got different silos in the uh, EPC environment, meaning the silos being the different disciplines. Like for instance, I have here the process, instrumentation, and an electrical group. Everybody has his own budget, everybody has his own um, you know, schedule, and of course his own uh, domain expertise. And that's, that's why they have a tendency to, to work in their own environment. But at the same time, you know, you have to deliver a consistent and complete project for the owner operator, be it a Shell or an Exxon or, or BP. So how, how, how do you do that? Now, of course, like I said, you know, we have the integration on the enterprise scale, but I think we can do something also very practical, maybe on a smaller scale, like within the three disciplines that I just have here on the board, like, you know, the process people, the instrument people, and the electrical people. Now, how do I, how do I uh, uh, propose doing that is that, you know, if we can, um, for instance, in the past, I remember that I was working at Fluor and um, we used to have the, the PNIDs, hard copies on what we call the roller board. And instrument people and electrical people were actually, you know, marking up the roller board with the tech numbers for the instruments or uh, finding loads on the, on the PNID and so on. Now today I still see that although we have the modern tools that people create a PNID, make a hard copy and give it to the other silo or the discipline to do their job. And sometimes I think that is a really inefficient and we do have possibilities to, to consolidate that and basically work in the same environment. So why not, rather than marking up a PNID, work in the same environment? Today with the technology, why not? That's, that, that's possible. You can connect as an instrument engineer to the PNID environment and rather than scribbling on a piece of paper and maybe have a duplicate number or a, a wrong number or the wrong format or what have you, you use the system to enter your data, to enter a tag number or enter information about your in, in, in instrument. And with, it, with that, let the system check on duplicate tag or tag format uh, and so on and so on. Plus the fact is, as soon as you enter it in the system, other people that are working in the other silos, other disciplines, has immediately access to the information that you have entered and can make then the right decision and work uh, using that information rather than putting it on a piece of paper can take a week or longer before somebody actually takes that and enter it in the system so other people can see it. So I think my point is that, you know, there are uh, different disciplines. They're working kind of sort of in, in their own environment. They have their own tasks, they have their own budget. But at the same time, you know, they need to communicate with each other, you know, to come, you know, eventually with the, uh, with the project uh, uh, data to complete the complete project. Now, what I propose is, you know, maybe what we can do is you can take an environment where you share and exchange information and rather than marking it up, you use that to enter the data in the one single environment. So the instrument engineer can enter the text, the electrical engineer can enter his data with respect to pumps, loads, and motors on the PNID, and then everybody uh, you know, can be checked against the rules of the project, and the data is, is, is quickly uh, available for, for others to use, including other disciplines like, for instance, piping. So I think as the benefits, I see just this, it's much faster, you know, you enter it once and it is immediately in the system rather than marking it up, copying it, maybe make a mistake copying it in the system. You consolidate it quickly by entering it in one system. And of course, last but not least, you have less conflicts or less errors because the data you entered are immediately checked against the rules in the, in the project as well. So that is uh, a little bit uh, for the uh, coffee break uh, today. Talk about the, uh, the silos and how we maybe can help breaking down some of those silos, you know, entering the data in the system rather than uh, using the old fashioned uh, uh, pencil that we have today. So uh, with that, uh, thank for your attention. Hope to uh, see you again in our next coffee break.